Imagine this. You're standing on the rusty dunes of Mars, the chill of eternal night settling in, when a faint streak of light slices across the star-studded sky. It's not a shooting star from our solar system, it's a wanderer from the depths of interstellar space, hurtling at over 130,000 miles per hour, a cosmic messenger from another star. This is 3I-A-T-L-A-S, the third confirmed interstellar object to grace our solar neighborhood. And just days ago, on October 3rd, 2025, NASA's Perseverance rover captured its fleeting passage, a blurry smudge against the Martian heavens. But what if that smudge hides secrets that challenge everything we know about comets, origins, and perhaps even the possibility of something more engineered in the void? Welcome to a journey into the enigma of 3I-ATLAS, where science meets the stars in a tale that's equal parts discovery and debate. I'm your host, and today we're unraveling this interstellar riddle together. If you're as hooked as I am, hit that like button now and subscribe for more deep dives into the cosmos. Your thoughts in the comments could spark the next big discussion. Let's start at the beginning, because every great story has one, and 3I-ATLAS's tale begins not in our backyard, but in the uncharted wilderness beyond. Picture the early summer of 2025. On July 1st, astronomers at the NASA-funded Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, telescope in Chile's Rio Hurtado Valley spot an odd blip in the data. It's moving too fast about 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, and on a path that's not bound by our star's gravity. This isn't a local comet looping back for another orbit, it's a hyperbolic intruder, escaping the pull of any sun it encounters. Dubbed 3I-ATLAS, the 3I for the third interstellar object following the enigmatic Oumuamua in 2017 and 2Y-Borisov in 2019, this visitor hails from the direction of Sagittarius, near the Milky Way's bustling galactic center. Its speed alone sets it apart, faster than its predecessors, clocking in at roughly twice the velocity of Oumuamua, as if it's in a hurry to deliver its payload of frozen secrets. To grasp why this matters, think of interstellar objects as time capsules ejected from distant planetary systems perhaps billions of years ago during chaotic formation phases. Oumuamua, that cigar-shaped oddity, tumbled silently without a coma of gas and dust, sparking wild theories from Harvard's Avi Loeb about possible artificial origins. Borisov, on the other hand, behaved more like a classic comet, spewing familiar vapors. 3i slash a t l a s question mark. It splits the difference, showing a marginal coma and tail-like elongation just three arc seconds long when first observed, confirming its cometary nature. Yet, from the moment of discovery, it's been anything but ordinary. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quickly modeled its trajectory, a closest approach to the sun on October 29th at 1.36 astronomical units, just inside Mars's orbit, followed by a safe skim past Earth at 1.8 astronomical units on December 19th. No threat to us, but a golden opportunity to peer into alien chemistry. As ESA's Rosetta mission taught us with Comet 67P, these icy relics hold clues to how planets like ours were born. But 3I-ATLAS promises something rarer, a snapshot of world building around another sun. Now, fast forward to October 3rd, 2025, the day this cosmic drifter made its closest pass to Mars, a mere 29 million kilometers away. NASA's Perseverance rover, that tireless six-wheeled explorer in Jezero Crater, turned its mast cam Z camera skyward. Amateur astrophotographer Simeon Schmoss, poring over raw NASA data, stacked 20 frames and uncovered a faint smudge right where ephemeris predictions placed 3I-ATLAS. It's ambiguous, a whisper of light in the Martian dusk, but the alignment is uncanny. Just two days later, on October 4th, the rover's right navigation camera, or navcam, snapped another image, an elongated stripe, four times longer than it is wide, glowing faintly against the stars. At first glance, it evokes images of a cylinder slicing through the void, fueling memes and midnight debates on platforms like X. 
but hold on, let's apply some science here. Avi Loeb himself dissected this in a recent analysis. The NavCam's resolution translates to about 12,500 kilometers per pixel at that distance. The apparent 50,000 kilometer streak? It's an artifact of motion during a stacked exposure of roughly 10 minutes, as 3i slash A T L A S zipped along at 68 kilometers per second relative to Mars. In a single 3.28 second shot, it'd smear just 300 kilometers. Compact, unremarkable. No monolith, no mothership, just the blur of a speedy comet caught mid-stride. Yet even as we debunk the dramatic visuals, the real intrigue lies in the data pouring in from Earth's mightiest telescopes and our solar system's robotic sentinels. Hubble's July 21st imaging revealed a teardrop-shaped dust cocoon around a nucleus estimated at up to 5.6 kilometers across, larger than Borisov's 1 kilometer, but dwarfed by the wild early guesses of 20 kilometers. James Webb's August spectroscopy hinted at a composition rich in carbon dioxide and organics with a puzzling 8 to 1 CO2 to water ratio that's 6 sigma away from typical comets. And then there's the mass. Non-gravitational acceleration from outgassing clocks in at under 4.6 meters per day squared, barely a nudge, implying a behemoth weighing over 33 billion tons, three to five orders of magnitude heavier than expected for its size. It's like finding a feather that weighs as much as a mountain. Porous ice and rock just don't add up. Add in the orbit, a near zero inclination hugging the ecliptic, threading Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in one solar lap with a 0.005% statistical fluke probability. As if it were aimed, not flung. These quirks don't stop at physics. Enter the chemistry conundrum. The Very Large Telescope spectrographs detected strong nickel emission lines with scant iron, a reversal of the solar system's usual one-to-one -one dance. Nickel dominates here, evoking industrial alloys more than cosmic dust. Polarimetry adds another layer. At a 7-degree phase angle, light scatters with an extreme negative polarization of negative 2.77%, inverting at 17 degrees, outside norms for any catalogued comet, more akin to distant trans-Neptunian objects. And the coma? Hubble shows it stretching sunward, defying solar winds push outward, as if scattering in unfamiliar ways or hinting at subtle thrust. Seven anomalies, stacking like improbabilities in a Bayesian nightmare. Mass, coma direction, chemistry, polarization, orbit, timing, and even a circumstantial nine-degree nod to the 1977 WOW signal's origin. Loeb's team crunched the numbers a prior odds of artificial origin at one in a million balloons if these traits prove independent. But mainstream SETI cautions. Multiply outliers without correlation, and you chase shadows. This brings us to the elephant, or should I say the silent orbiter in the room, the blackout. On October 1st, just as 3i slash ATLAS neared Mars, the U.S. government shuttered, furloughing 15,000 NASA staff, engineers, analysts, communicators, leaving a skeleton crew for the ISS and Artemis. Raw data from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Curiosity, and Perseverance trickled in, but processing halted. ESA's Mars Express and Trace Gas Orbiter succeeded in their flyby runs, yet held releases for cross-checks. Even China's Tianwen-1 and the UAE's Hope Probe, usually eager for headlines, went mum. No high-res orbiter shots, no spectra dumps, just a vacuum where transparency should be. Avi Loeb, ever the transparency advocate, called for raw releases on podcasts, his checklist of testable quirks echoing across Discord servers where amateurs traded DSN logs. Is it coincidence or calculus? In a field where data is oxygen, this pause feels deliberate, especially from rivals like China, who could score points amid NASA's limbo. Of course, no space story is complete without addressing the myths that bloom in silence. First off, no. 3i slash ATLAS isn't hurtling toward Earth as a doomsday rock. Its path keeps it 170 million miles away at closest approach. Second, the cylinder sightings? optical illusions from fast motion and long exposures, as Loeb confirmed, no metallic sheen or inscriptions, just pixel tricks. And the alien probe whispers? Thrilling, sure. Loeb's rendezvous with Rama vibes are hard to shake. But extraordinary claims demand extraordinary proof.
remote viewing sessions from August, eerily prescient with pulsing devices and icy shells, add flavor, but they're not peer-reviewed science. Probability weighs heavy, a megawatt radio beacon from 600 astronomical units? That's city-scale power unseen in natural processes. For now, it's a cosmic fluke until December's reacquisition proves otherwise. As David Farnakia of JPL's CNEOS puts it, fresh parallax will settle the acceleration debate, natural or not. Peering ahead, the calendar crackles with promise. October 29th marks perihelion, where sunlight floods 3I-ATLAS with gigawatts, potentially igniting outbursts or fragmentation. Mars orbiters, now with fuller teams post-shutdown, aim high-res frames at 68 kilometers per second speeds. From November 2nd, ESA's JUICE spacecraft, en route to Jupiter's icy moons, devotes three weeks to scanning for non-natural activity, its spectrometers probing the aftermath. Early December brings Earth-based reacquisition telescopes like the VLT chasing parallax truths. By December 19th, a global observatory network awaits the 1.8 AU Earth flyby, radio dishes tuned for whispers. These aren't just observations, they're verdict days, turning speculation into spectra. Thanks for joining this interstellar odyssey. If 3i slash ATLAS has you staring at the night sky a little longer, drop your wildest theory in the comments below. What anomaly blows your mind most? Like if your team weird comet, subscribe for updates on perihelion fireworks and share with that friend who needs more space in their life. Until next time, keep looking up. The universe is watching back. Clear skies, explorers, 